Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another beer review. Now, we've got a beer which kind of like made me chuckle in a way because, um, you know, you've got women's football, you've got, you know, everything's kind of like, oh, without being sexist, it's kind of like everything's on a level playing field now, haven't you? You, whatever male the male thing there is, yeah, there's always a feminine alternative, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> I've got to get in trouble with this one. Um, so, but there's one thing, actually, in this world, which they haven't done a feminine alternative to, and that's Yorkie Bar. So we're off to Brew York, and we've got a can of Brew Yorkie. Super smashing great. And you know what I've got to do now? You can guess. I've got to let the cat out. Right, carry on. Um, yeah, so as you can, you know, without being sexist, it's kind of like... <sighs> there's some things that's, that's not meant to be touched by feminine hands. And that's a Yorkie bar. I'm sorry. You know, that's why I don't go to a gym, you see. I go to a gym and you... You know, I'm on the waist, and you get this woman comes along, who's about double the size of you, and starts lifting more than you. You know, threatens my masculinity, boys and girls. It really does. So <laughs> we've got a brew Yorkie, four point eight percent ABV, chocolate milk stout. There's the back side. I should read you back. It says York, otherwise known as the Chocolate City. Of course it is, has had a long history with chocolate confection production. Um, the air would smell of chocolate and chocolate dust would cover the city. So this our dedication to the delicious past. Dark malts combined with cocoa powder, cacao nibs provide a chocolate richness with lactose for soothing creaminess. It's only 4.8% remember. Um, just go and get that in there. Homage to York's indulgent history with the city uh, cat statues um, that sneak around the city's buildings. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there we go. Malta, pale, malted oats, Munich, brown, carafe, carafe three, 25 wheat, chocolate. Um, so, yeah, York, Birmingham, because Birmingham, obviously, Bourneville. Uh, York is... Um, Boundary Macintosh. If I had a choice between Cadbury's or Roundtree Macintosh, it's got to be Roundtree Macintosh. And of course, Terry's, Terry's chocolate, wasn't it? York as well. Kit Kat. I think the York York Football Stadium's name, nicknamed Kit Kat Crescent. I think the old one. They're building a new one. Anyway, let's see how much chocolate we get out of this one. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Full on chocolate, creamy, absolutely wonderful. It smells absolutely wonderful. So let's pour it out in a very knackered glass, as you can see, because I've drunk a few beers tonight, like you do. That's what you do on a Friday night. Drink a few beers, talk to yourself on the phone for all you lot out there. As you can see, the head's just gone. Bubbling away it was, like a witch's cauldron. As you can see, it looks like a flat coke. <laughs> it looks like a flat coke. There you go. <laughs> Aroma. It smells gorgeous, so. <laughs> Have a pint of coke, please. Yeah, lots of chocolate. Milky chocolate, it smells good. I'm going to go in. Let's not waste any time. Cheers. It's thin. <clears throat> Everything else is fine, but it's thin. And sweet. You get the sweetness. Milky, creamy chocolate, a little bit thin. Is it nice? Yeah, it is. It's 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 a nice tasting beer. Um, not to take it too seriously. It's just 
because of the ABV, I'm getting lots of chocolate, lots of creaminess, slightly sweet to it, sweetness to it, but it doesn't remind me of a Yorkie bar uh, at all. It doesn't feel chunky. <laughs> um, but you know the ABV, and you know when you advertise a beer as rich, chocolatey, creamy. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily advertised on this can, but when it's advertised, or that it gives the impression, you know, it says on the can, chocolate milk stout. That you know sounds indulgent, thick, creamy. You know, you do get it to a degree. But with that ABV being 4.8, you know, I've said it on tons of reviews, you need a bit of thickness to the body. You need to ramp that up, that ABV up, to the, you know, to a point where it does feel indulgent. It does feel like a dessert. It feels like you shouldn't have it because you put on weight that type of thing and when you get a chocolate milk stout of 4.8 i mean it may be different at the brewery because i remember when i did the black sheep one you go to the brewery the milk stout is about that abv and it's fantastic so you know i can't comment on that but when you get it in a can and the description to your mind gives you you know the thought of luxurious creaminess and it's only 4.8 percent as soon as you drink it you feel a little bit a little bit kind of like disappointed but as it is it's actually a really nice beer even though it looks like coke <laughs> again again It is nice. It's, you do get the chocolate. You do get the cream. I think it could have been sweeter for me. Bearing in mind, we're talking about Yorkie bars. Yorkie bars are quite chunky, sweet, creamy. And you're only getting a slight degree of that in this for me. But overall, I have to say, for what it is, um, what, what did I pay for it? About four quid. Yeah, I think I paid about a quid too much, but I don't mind. It's still okay. It's still relatively enjoyable, and that's it, really. So, boys and I'm eight minutes in. Better wrap this up. <laughs> Brew York, Brew Yorky, give it a go. Tell me what you think. I do apologise for uh, my remarks earlier. They could be construed as sexist, but at the end of the day, you know, women's football, come on. Come on, women's football. I'd rather watch a I'd rather watch a team of eight year olds. See you on my next one.